guys welcome back now in the previous tutorial we were able to uh, allow a list items to be clicked on and taken to another detail view where we are able to get the uh, activity the, the object ID that started this activity and it's as simple as that so what we want to do is just get this Udemy is great uh, and I mean the comment or the status to be on uh, when it's clicked it should be up here so with that, we're going to use uh, something in Parse that I like using, and I'll go to the documentation here, and I will go to Android, and then I will go to Queries, and then I use Get in Background because Get in Background gives us an option to pass in to get the item with its object ID right here. So we use that because now we know the object ID of what started activity and it's right here. So we're going to say simply here, pass query. Now we just copied that everything. And what I want to do first, you know what, let me just write this code uh, one at a time so that we follow along. So pass query, and all we are querying is a parse object. And then we're going to say status or oh, query. I'll just say query equals to new parse query. And all we're querying is status in parse. And now we say query that. Um, so get in background and the object id is the object id and there's a callback the part that gives us the object and then we're going to say if else if parse object i mean if E is equal to now, then success. We have a status. Else, there's an error. There was an error. Advise user. And then, so we're using the object ID to get the object. And here, now to get the status, we're going to simply say string user status equals to um, parse object dot get um, get string. So we're going to get the string in parse object, which is, uh, what's the string here? String name here. Uh, new status is what we're looking for. We'll head back here and we'll simply say new status. So we affect the new status. And now with that in mind, Let's go ahead and set it as m status dot set text and user status. So let's run this and see what we have. Hope all goes well and go up front. Okay, so let's click something. Yep, this is good work. It's fetched. Hi there, I'm new here. This is good work. So as you can see, it's really fetching the status. Well, so what we want to do is now, since you see anytime I click it like this, you see status appear first until uh, it gets data from the server. So yeah, uh, in that case, mm -hmm. We're going to go to our XML file detail view and we're going to get rid of this text and just 
have it as blank like that and then run it again. And then, and then there you have it. So, okay, amazing. So having done that, in the next tutorial, let's see how we are going to kind of uh, shorten this, what appears on the screen to one line. And then when somebody, a user has to click it to expand and view it more so that it makes sense while you're doing this. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.